the dolphin like oh. sprinting. How did the dolphin come out of it? I don't know. I didn't see the dolphin afterwards. <laughs> oh, that's a good one to tell your family, isn't it? How did you get hurt? I hit a dolphin. Yeah. Um, here we have the field for the men's K1 500, and we have Arta Peters, Tamas Zabo, the best hair in the business. You should model your hair on uh, Tamas Zabo's hair. If you haven't seen it, Max, you're about to see it. You should model it. I think you could pull that off with your beard. Simon McTavish from Canada in three. Uh, Balint Kopaj, the world champion and also the Olympic champion over 1,000. Augustin Venice from Argentina. Wichach from Poland. There he is, Arta Peters from... You would have done a bit of racing against Arta Peters over the years. Yes, yes, we're the same age, so we have, we've been racing against each other since, like, a long time. There we are. That's the hair. There is the hair you've got to model yourself on. <laughs> Max, what do you reckon? You could pull that off? Yeah, it's definitely some extra weight, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> there you do. Needs a bit of a balance issue there, maybe. Simon McTavish from Canada. Former Australian? Yes, indeed. Yep, yep. Everybody's a former Australian in one way or another. Simon McTavish, Balint Kopaj, the 500-metre world champion and the 1,000-metre Olympic champion. He loves this event, though, so he would be a little bit disappointed that Fernando Pimenta is not there in this race because they love, they love going against each other, Pimenta and Kopaj, but Pimenta not focusing on this race. Augustin Venice in, uh, from Argentina is in lane five. Then in lane six, we have Slavomir Wichak from Poland. In lane seven, the Dane, Thorben Rask, who's been pretty impressive, better known as a marathon paddler, as a 5,000-metre paddler, but he's going all right. Now, one of your teammates, what, do you know, what can you tell us about Oleg? Well, Oleg came to Germany two years ago, so now he's been establishing himself in our team, and uh, he actually won our qualification, so he's a great um, add to our team, and... Great performance by him. Going to be uh, interesting to see how he does now. Yep. And in the outside lane, Timon More from Austria. So Balin Kopaz in the middle of the field in lane four it will be the man they'll all be watching. And you can guarantee the crowd are going to get pretty loud now because they love their athletes and they love Balin Kopaz. But of course, yes, we should remember there's two Hungarians in this field. Zaz Zanto Zabo, Zabo in lane two. It looks like it's the uh, former Australian, the Canadian, Simon McTavish, who's gone out the fastest. Kopaz alongside him. Now starting to move up. Uh, who looks the most comfortable out there at the moment, Max? Yeah, I mean, Ballant has quite a high stroke rate, but I think he's like, comfortable with doing that. And Yeah, it's hard to tell by now. Well, he's eased himself into the lead there quite comfortably. McTavish falling back a little bit. Looks like uh, the Argentinian also coming through. Let's have a look on this side of the course. Anybody, uh, well, uh, maybe it uh, looks like uh, Thorben Rask is putting up a good race here. It's good to see the Dane coming through and challenging for a medal. But it is Kopaz Ballant out in front. The Argentinian going with him, just sitting there alongside Simon McTavish from Canada. Also coming through now with the... Wichak is putting in a bit of a challenge. So it is Kopaz in front. Good battle for second at the moment. Maybe it's Vernice holding on from Argentina. McTavish fighting back. And the Polish paddler, Wichak, is also really coming home fast. In fact, maybe maybe it is Wichak who's moving into second. Balin Kopaz, I think, is going to hold on for first. Wichak's going to get second. And it is the Argentinian, Vernice. Yeah, maybe the Polish guy is trying to push himself in contention for the K2 after they got the quota or something. Ah, uh, yeah, good point. Show a good performance and then maybe. Good point. So a good win there for Balint Kopaz. I mean, you talk about, uh, we were talking about the focus in Germany on athletes on kayak and canoe athletes it's a little bit different here in hungary isn't it where everybody yeah everybody knows the canoe, the canoe and kayak team members and there's a lot of pressure on them i think augustine venezia also got the quota last year with the fourth place in the 1000 it's also very good yep yep so good a good race there good finish for the second and third and then at the top of the screen in lane one it was out of peters 
who probably prefers the 1,000 meters. Yeah, for a lot of guys, it was probably just like a start for the 1,000 coming up this um, tonight. The late day today, I bet you're happy your day's over. Yeah, yes. Some of these paddlers tonight, they've got late races tonight and then early ones tomorrow morning, so. Yeah, I mean, it's nice when you're done with it and uh, just start at the beginning and not have to wait for the competition to come for two days. So what's the plan between now and um, and Paris for you guys? Will you stay in Europe to train or are you going to go somewhere exotic? Yeah, no, and the, the weather is getting better in Europe now, so I think there's no reason to go somewhere further away. So we do our preparations in Germany. We are in Munich, uh, 